What's up Switch Gang? This is your boy Marlon back at it again with another news video and this time I want to talk about Mr. Miyamoto. I love Mr. Miyamoto for everything that he has done for us including giving us all the Mario games and a host of other games from Nintendo but my thing is this Mr. Miyamoto is pretty much damage controlling the fact that Nintendo haven't fallen behind so basically there was an article on IGN stating that Mr. Miyamoto is saying that they haven't fall behind that they haven't fall behind as far as the online that's not true Nintendo is way behind the curb when it comes to online I mean you don't even have basic chat functionalities like private chat you know group chat you know uh, just just common text messages to your friends group all of that you, you're missing native chat support, like simple things that the online is lacking right now. Of course, there's no trophy system. I think they're trying to work with Microsoft with some of the exclusive games and whatnot, but the fact still remains that the online is pretty bare bones and it should be free, honestly, because Mario Maker 2 is having issues right now with online. Smash is having, I mean, their servers are garbage. That's why I said before Smash came out, before a lot of their big online games came out, Nintendo should have offered dedicated servers, period. I was trying to play Smash online yesterday and I couldn't enjoy it because why? Because there's a lot of server issues going on. So no, Mr. Miyamoto, no, 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 no. You guys are falling behind. He's damage controlling it and I feel like really, like that's one of Nintendo's biggest problems right now is the online. Now, granted, Granted, and when it comes to first party games, I mean, they're killing it with that. When it comes to indie games and third party stuff, they're doing actually well, not phenomenal when it comes to third party, but they're actually doing a lot better than how they were doing with the Wii U. Now, the fact still remains they need to fix the online. I know the online right now has over 10 million subscribers or even more, but they could have had a lot more subscribers if they would have fixed the online. If the online is free, I feel like it will be worth it more for people to go online and play. Right now, a lot of people is holding off. A lot of people that I know is holding off on purchasing the online because they're like, man, what am I paying for? The cloud save situation, a lot of games don't even support the cloud save. You're giving us these old NES games from way back when you came out with a NES Classic Edition. Like, seriously? Really? Like, I mean, there's no value there. The key thing about consumers is value. If I'm a consumer and I'm trying to buy something from you or I'm trying to buy into your product, the key thing is value. And if I don't see value, I am not going to buy into it. I'm just not going to do it because it's not worth it. And Nintendo, you need to get with the times. I understand that uh, when it comes to technology and stuff, Nintendo is normally the last company to kind of get with the times. And it's like now the interview asked, um, hey, would you guys consider cloud gaming or VR, which they already have the Labo situation with the VR and stuff. And I'm guessing that's doing well or whatever. But also they talked about the whole cloud gaming situation. And they're like, well, in the next few years, that's where uh, cloud gaming is going to be, which is True, because Microsoft is pushing it, Sony is pushing cloud gaming, and I think they might do it, but maybe with the next revision of the Nintendo Switch. So, I honestly believe that Nintendo can do a lot better. I mean, it's been, what, two and a half years now since the Switch came out, since 2017. Come on, Nintendo. Come on. You have to do better. I will give them until the next couple of Nintendo Directs to kind of sort out the online. I mean, come on. We're dying for native chat support. Literally, all you can do, all you can do is just what? Send a friend request, add a friend, block a friend. That's it. So you, 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 your, your friends on your friends list is just there for decorations. Like you can't do nothing. So I'm not understanding why you, 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 you're saying that you're not falling behind. Yes, you are. You're way behind the curb. And that is hurting Nintendo right now. Hurting them big time because a lot of their first party games, including Mario Kart, Smash, Mario Maker, all of those games with online functionality. A lot of people are like, man, I'm not about to play this online. I'm going to just play the single player portion. Why? Because they don't feel like spending no money. Why? Because there's no value there. As a consumer, 
What do you want the most out of everything you want value? You want value. And Nintendo, of course, they've given us a great value with the Switch, being that it's portable. You can take it on the go. You can play it anywhere. You can play it at home or whatever. That is cool. I mean, they're killing the market right now when it comes to a portable slash um, home console or whatnot. But the online is trash. And I know a lot of you guys can attest to what I'm saying. So, Miyamoto, don't damage control this and say, oh, you guys are not falling behind. Yes, you are falling behind. Get with the times, Nintendo. I love Nintendo so much, but when I see nonsense, y'all know how I get down, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it, right? So subscribe, hit the bell if you're brand new to the channel. Joy-Con boys forever. Switch gang boys, we are out of here. I love y'all, man. Have y'all self a very good day. Peace.